Hey there, Sketchy Yeti here. Today I'm going to show you where to find and how to complete Rattlebrook Gulch in the wild at heart. As you can see, my character Wake is already on his way. We are heading out of the grove into the central deep woods and we are heading west. The only thing that is blocking your path to Rattlebrook Gulch is this boulder that takes 20 Spritelings to move. You can have any setup of Spritelings that you want. You'll either need to collect the Soul Shell and purchase an upgrade, or you can find the Emberlings, which will give you an upgrade for five automatically without using up any additional essence. care of that we will walk on through Rattlebrook Gulch is where you are going to find your friend Kirby first we have to construct this bridge There she is. <laughs> so after a little fun dialogue with the characters, Wake falls down. <laughs> Which means the two friends who were just reunited are now immediately separated again. Wake? Okay. Kirby is also quite small and can squeeze through very small spaces, like logs. More people means more pockets. Bag size increased by two slots. Aw, that means Kirby's dress has pockets, you guys. Aww. Okay. So, since Kirby is small and can fit through small spaces, we are going to squeeze through this log here. And she's going to pop out on the other side. It will prompt you to switch characters at this point. So, in order to allow Kirby down through that fence, Wake needs to use his Gust Buster. And while you're here, I would recommend tossing about half of your Spritelings over to Kirby. Because she will need them. And you're going to take a left here. Defeat this little blob. Glob. Globlin. all the essence so stepping on that platform will reunite characters once again so after more dialogue between the characters Kirby will become distracted and she is asking about this green lantern up here That is strange. I think I saw that at the Green Witch Catafalque. Cata what? Yeah, long story. And of course, she's going to touch it. I think it likes me. Ooh, Kirby touched the butt. Whoa, check it out. Let's see what it can do. So, the lantern that Kirby picked up is called the Warden's Way. The Warden's Way lantern can actually be used very similarly to... to Wake's Gust Buster. Okay. So, 
I'm just going to collect the resources that are here. When Kirby first came down here, we were not able to go all the way south, so we're going to go south. So actually, fun fact, Warden's Way cannot interact with the windmills here, so you do need to use Wake and his Gust Buster. Same thing goes for these logs. And then Kirby can go through logs, so you're going to go through here, through the top log here. This will send you to the small platform in between. Kirby can use Warden's Way to beam them up. Okay. So now you're going to want to just toss them right back down. You only need five. I sent way more than I needed. Cross over lily pads, and we are going to fight this flop. I'm just going to throw everything I can at it so that it goes faster. And bust open a treasure chest. Climb, climb, climb. Okay, so we're going to switch to Wake so that he can knock down this log obstacle. Cross over and switch back to Kirby. So, the Warden's Way Lantern interacts with these. So, let us fight these mushroom people. Kirby will have to use her lantern on this warden statue. I tend to default to just using the high beam, but I don't think that you actually need it here. Um, same with this corruption growth. Okay, let's collect our stuff and head on south of here. And now we are back up at the top of the gulch and we can head out on our way. However, I think I left a corruption growth down here. Let's see what it leads to. So if you'll notice, we're here at nighttime, and, and we are not encountering the Never. Since Rattlebrook Gulch can take some people a while, um, it, it can be hard to do the whole thing in a full day, and escape unscathed. So you're actually safe from the Nether here. Let's use the lantern to pass through this corruption. And you will find another treasure chest. bag is full, so I'm going to have my Spritelings carry that for me. Okay. 
there is one more area I would like to show you. If you'll notice there are these rocks down here and when you walk up to them, okay, let's get the spritelings off of the rocks. They look like they're starting to a path and when you walk over it, there's an option to hop down. So let's hop. Let's hop some more. We have a treasure chest with a heart root resin. We have an essence gourd. So despite the fact that Kirby's Warden's Way Lantern cannot inter interact with um, windmills and log obstacles, it can interact with garbage and leaf piles. Okay, let's bust through these garbage bags. So, not only is there a treasure chest down here, but there's also a cat just begging to be freed. Meow, meow. Oh, big stretches. So cute. Okay. So, to get back quickly, you're just going to send five of your twigglings over there. And we can just climb back up the leaves. Okay. So now we can head out of Rattlebrook Gulch. It is officially solved, which means you can get back to the game. <laughs>